Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Our today's video topic is creating stunning angular device and then integrating and the customization of the bootstrap free templates. Okay, so when you create a new angular application, the angular application has its default template, which is like this. From this, I'm going to download a free template and integrate it. And then it becomes like this because we're building a restaurant type app. I thought this free template is gonna give us a stunning look for our web page and uh, take a look at how we are going to do. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that and let's get started. So I go to Google and type like this free HTML bootstrap template for restaurants. So I'm giving you, I'm giving the hint of what kind of thing that I want. It gives me a lot of links, right? So I go one by one and see which is best. Sometimes some teams are really not good. So let's say, let's go to this template, right? So this template is also free, but uh, I, I personally did not like it though. It looks good. Uh, so I wanted to uh, see whether it's download is free. And when you download this kind of a template, sometimes it will be nice. Sometimes it will be so complicated the way they have built it. Um, but this looks stunning, but I still didn't pick this up. Uh, I'm going to choose something else, which is very simple and elegant. So what I did is I will just generally navigate through a couple of pages and see how it looks. And then, you know, I deep dive sometime into the HTML of how many JS they use and all those stuff. But let's take a look at the second example. So this one, this one looks little, uh, you know, easy. And here also, they also say, you know, you use it for free for your personal project. You just don't, don't need to sell this. Okay. Because the copyright issue will come. So I downloaded this, like I go to the website and see this page also is stunning, right? So everything looks good and bare minimum, whatever I wanted for the website site that I want to build it's fair enough they have everything here you have our table booking stuff and you have chef galleries everything that a restaurant app is required so I decided to download I clicked on free download it's downloaded now this one will have just the HTML template okay so because we want just HTML rest and all we will build so what we're going to do is after you download that I go and extract this so these are the things so if I open up the index.html Basically, it will open up from local and even from local, it is referencing the correct files and everything is looking good. Okay. Now, there's another page called sample in page. Uh, if you open up that, basically, they have given you kind of a, a placeholder where you can put your stuff inside the middle of the whole section, like header, navigation, everything they gave. Right. Looks good. Pretty easy. So now if I go to assets, these are the contents. So I copy this and I go to my Angular project, which I just built it like new project. Nothing else is there. I go inside the assets and keep everything for now. Okay. So first thing our goal is to copy everything and make the downloader template work. Remaining what we want, what we don't want out of what we downloaded, that and all we can remove it later. Okay. So our intention is to first make our template work. Okay. Now, if I go and click control U, it will open up this uh, source of the file. So basically in header section, they have assets. So CSS and all those things that is required for the application to look nice that they have it in header. And if you come all the way through down, just before the body, they have all the JavaScript related thing. JavaScript can wait because the moment you put JavaScript stuff in the front, in the top, the page will not load until all the JavaScript files is downloaded. That's why they keep it in the bottom. Okay. So what we are going to do is we are going to do this cut, copy, paste into our system. Okay. So inside this uh, index.html, our app root is there. So basically we can keep it here, but actually we should not do it. We should go to our app component.html. Okay. If you remember our default Angular project has this, this one given by the Angular template itself. So we remove everything. Okay, we remove all, everything uh, and then see how it looks. So I'm going to delete everything. I started the server, ng server, and then I'm going to just put some words to see how our Angular application is working, which means all the UI that was there by default. So I go to this place. Now see, everything that we saw in the first was disappeared because we deleted everything, right? We're going to start building from ours. So I copy pasted everything from that uh, source. Okay. From here, we are going to do slowly little by little modification. It's really easy. So this template that I downloaded, honestly speaking, this is better than what I have seen earlier. Okay. So here they have clear sections of headers, sections, menu, everything. 
So first thing first, let's cut the script and put it into our um, index.html where our body is there, right? So we keep it here. So before the body, we will keep it here because basically whatever they did is what we are doing it, but we are doing it in our Angular project. So our index.html is the file where the whole document is there. So we will make sure whatever we have it here is working so the location is good see i can able to see the file so assets location is all good all these files do exist in assets if you see if i expand this assets you can see whatever we initially copy pasted from the template right everything is here and that is what is referenced here so these files are available which means it'll work so the next thing is we open go to the top and copy the header section Okay, whatever is there in the head section, basically it will have the favicon, the, the CSS and some titles and everything. So I simply copy paste here. This also is going to look good because this is referencing the same asset location. So far good. Okay, now what we will do, this is our website, we are going to fix it in few seconds. Okay, it's really simple. So I just do a hard refresh, control shift R. Now all the CSS that was not coming up was downloaded properly and the website started looking good. See, it was very simple. I copy pasted from the index.html from their template into our template. We separated the CSS and the JavaScript files and our local host 4200. So our project is now looking good. At least I can click each and every single menu and all the pages are loading, right? This is the place where you start with. All right, so now we can do little more effort to clean up these things. So let me show you some simple thing. Okay, so basically in Angular, all these JavaScript files, right? Few JavaScript files are coming from CDN. For example, the bootstrap bundle or all those things which are common, right? They are all can be referenced in CDN location directly on the index.file. But other JS files and CS file which is customized for the template, what we can do is we can take it from that location and put it into the angular.json under the script and styles file so if you put it here what will happen when you stop the server and start the server the angular will build all these assets into one and it knows how to deliver it very nicely like performance oriented okay if you if you put it like this here every single file is directly downloaded it's not built in the built location itself. like it is not as part of a package it's going to download as a file okay so that's the difference so we're going to you know uh, paste some uh, files which is specific to this template like for example main.css they are specific to this template okay so i can put it here and similarly whatever i see i can comment this right so we remove the main.js we remove the uh, the other one the cs main.cs right see now i removed it and kept it here the moment i did it this is not working that's because right now angular has not built what we have copy pasted so we need to stop the server and start the server because this build process even in the development process it will happen only when you start the server from first so once i start this like stop and start the server now our application is back so similarly you can you can just you know uh, clean up all these js and all those stuff uh, separately and not only that sometimes all the template content is not really useful like we may not be using every single thing we just need the layout and other so other things right so whatever is not required later we can clean up like if you follow my video series of restaurant table booking app you will see how much i will clean up and how beautiful it's going to be right so all this uh, glitter box pure counter vanilla js all those all those mumbo jumbo thing we can remove it if it is not useful for us all right so now you know how you can also download your own customized uh, free template from internet and integrate into your website and that will give you a stunning look right you don't need to really uh, learn css and do hard work to get to uh, to get to a beautiful ui i hope you enjoyed this video and if you like this video give me a thumbs up provide your comments and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Happy coding!